some wrestling fans. It is Wrestling Revolution Keaton here. Today, I will be doing a WrestleMania prediction show. WrestleMania 39. I think WrestleMania will be a really, really good show. And WrestleMania goes Hollywood sounds amazing. Some of the um, adverts on it, like comedy ones like Joker uh, and the Batman. Uh, obviously, as Becky Lynch called herself the man and she is acting Batman and Seth Rollins is obviously a kind of comedic guy who always laughs at everything that likes, that's like the Joker so I think he could fill that kind of spot just to name a few of them uh Mesa Maurice doing the uh kind of old school Hollywood Hollywood themed uh, advert just really good Wrestlemania goes Hollywood thing let's get into the predictions he is a visionary he is a revolutionary he is Seth Freaking Rollins, baby! And he is going to face the Maverick, Logan Paul. Uh, Jeff Rollins is one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. He is amazing. His comedic act is amazing. I just think he is a great, he has great talent. He just has it all. Logan Paul is a great, talented wrestler as well. He really shocked me at WrestleMania, but doing that good against Roman Reigns. I think he shocked everyone, but he, he really is. A very talented wrestler. I think Logan Paul is going to win this one, but I hope Seth wins. Look, if I could vote best storyline of the year, it would be Sami Zayn turning on Roman Reigns. It ties with Dominic and Ray. I'd have to choose between the two, but my predictions: the Usos will lose their tag team gold, the longest reigning tag team champions, and KO and Sami Zayn will be the new. Undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. The Street Profits versus Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus Alpha Academy versus the Viking Raiders. Street Profits make a very, very good team. Both of them are, ve are very athletic. Montez Ford has strength and athleticism. I've seen Braun Strowman and Ricochet pairing up, and I think that they bring a lot to the table. Ricochet. Is very athletic, probably one of the most high, biggest high flyers in wrestling history. Well, I'm sure I'm sure you'd have to say something about that, but I get the point. And uh, Ron Strowman with his strength, these two are really, really talented team, and I think they have what it takes to even beat the Usos sometime. Then we've seen a nasty side of the Viking Raiders for a few, few, few months, and I'm not sure if I like the side of the Viking Raiders. I just think they're evil and i do not like this side of them they're definitely going to lose this one i predict that braun Strowman and ricochet will win this contest sheamus versus drew mcintyre versus the ring general gunther this matchup seems like it will be a very good matchup drew mcintyre and sheamus have been having a bit of a rivalry lately Sheamus is very good as the leader of the Brawling Brutes. Drew McIntyre was the honorary brute, but lately they ha have had a bit of a fallout. I think maybe at the end of this match, th they will make amends again. And then Gunther will retain his Intercontinental Championship. Rhea Ripley is a tremendous competitor. With the Judgment Day, she is amazing. And I really think she'll be the SmackDown Women's Champion. Edge versus Finn Balor. Finn Balor has been amazing this year. As taking on the job as the leader of the Judgment Day. Could Edge win Finn Balor? I think so. I think Finn Balor's great run will come to an end. And Edge will destroy him. Where Finn Balor lives best in hell. In a hell in a shell match. Austin Theory versus John Cena. To be honest, I really think Austin Theory is very overrated. Uh, he hasn't got what it takes to be United States champion. John Cena is probably the best wrestler of all time, so I think John Cena is going to win this one. She's the EST of WWE. Bianca Belair, the Raw Women's Champion. Ever since she beat Becky Lynch for that Raw Women's title, she has proven to be the true champion, and no one can beat her. Could Oscar win this one? I don't think so. Bianca Belair will retain. 
Brock Lesnar versus Omos. Omos is a giant competitor. He has all the muscles. He's big and all. Even after the bell, MVP said that Brock Lesnar was afraid of Omos. I have never seen this happen before. Brock Lesnar backed out of a match. He couldn't even go in to get his hat. He had to get someone else to get it. I think Brock Lesnar is afraid of Omos, but he'll still win this match. I believe that Shayna Beasler and Ronda Rousey will take the win on this one. The two submission specialists. Damage control versus Lita, Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch. My favourite wrestlers of all time are pairing up. Lita, Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. I think that Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus and Lita will win this one. This is the match everyone has been waiting for. Ray would never accept Dominic's challenge. I never thought he was even going to want to fight Dominic. But when he spoke to his wifey like that, she did not like it. Now, when the match is going to happen, I think that Ray will destroy Dominic. And after, Dominic will turn face and start respecting his parents. Respect your elders, Dominic. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. The head of the table will go against Cody Rhodes at the main event of WrestleMania. To be honest, I don't think Roman Reigns is going to win this one. Roman Reigns has been champion for a long time and he is a legend in wrestling. But Cody Rhodes has genes in his family. And I'm not saying Roman doesn't. He has very big genes in his family. But to be honest, I think Dusty Rhodes is one of the best of all time. And he, Cody Rhodes, his son, will win the undisputed WWE titles. That's all I have for today, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.